Welcome to the ICG's webinar series. We are all very glad to have you join us today uh, for this very special webinar. Uh, you know, today we had over 700 people register for today's webinar, which certainly demonstrates the excitement around Oracle's release of OBI EE 11G. Today will be the first of many webinars that we do around the release of OBI EE 11G. And uh, for the next several months, we'll be dedicating our webinar series to this topic. Before we get started, I would like to briefly introduce our presenters that are with us today. My name is Amy Mayer, and I have been working with customers on BI strategy and solutions since the mid to late 1990s. I have extensive experience in a variety of analytic tools and have been working with OBIEE since its inception when it was just Enquirer, prior to Siebel purchasing the technology and prior to Oracle purchasing Siebel. I am also the president and founder of BI Consulting Group. Along with me today, I have Marty Mersinger and Christian Spreen, BICG's two solution engineers who dedicate roughly 50% of their time enabling BICG and our customers on Oracle's BI and performance management technologies. Marty has been working with OVIEE for over 10 years and is known by many of our customers as he is a go-to person on the most difficult problems. Christian has been working with Hyperion and OBIE technologies for over five years and can pretty much master any technology uh, that we put in front of him very quickly. The objective of today's webinar is to introduce all of you to OBIE 11G and to help you simplify uh, how you look at OBIE 11G as there's hundreds of new features and functionality within this new release. The vision of OBIE 11G uh, release was shared with BICG shortly after Oracle purchased Hyperion in 2007. OBIE 11G, uh, the concept was born thinking about how Hyperion, OBIE, and other Oracle technologies are all going to integrate together to ultimately provide customers with an integrated, complete, and open set of analytic technologies. We'll first introduce to you uh, OBIEE 11G, and we'll actually be taking a quick look at the technology. The quick demo for today is just meant to give you a high-level understanding of the look and feel, and certainly on additional webinars that we have, we'll be taking a deeper look uh, in demoing um, the, the features and functionality in more detail. We'll also be talking a little bit about the SDGs OBIEE 11G Task Force. And ultimately, we put together a task force uh, to enable our customers as well as our consultants on this new great technology. Finally, we will be taking a close look at some of the new features and functionality in the new release. As mentioned previously, there are hundreds of new features and functionality in this release. Unfortunately, during this one-hour webinar, we will not be able to highlight all of the new features and functionality, but we'll certainly uh, give you a good start to understanding OBIE 11G. Also, the features and functionality that we're going to be giving you a high-level understanding of today are some of the features and functionality that we believe are uh, the most um, advanced and kind of game-changing, allowing us to provide greater analytic solutions to our customers. During the webinar, please feel free to post questions to our Q&A panel during the webinar. Our session today is certainly packed with a lot of content, and if there is time at the end to help answer some of these questions, we'll certainly do our best. We will also be putting together a white paper that is started in regards to the frequently asked questions around OBIE 11G. Everybody that is on the webinar today will be receiving that white paper by email within the next week, and we'll certainly be taking uh, the questions that are asked during this webinar that we weren't able to get to at the end and including them in that FAQ document. So hopping into some of the 11G features and enhancements, I kind of grouped the features and enhancements into three different categories. One, kind of across the board from an integration perspective. Two, capabilities that are really um, enhancements or, or brand new uh, enhanced capabilities within OBIEE. And then finally, uh, taking a look at how it's now scalable uh, across the organization. To get started from an integrated perspective, um, Really, the Oracle BI 11G platform has taken a lot of the technologies 
that Oracle has acquired over the years and has built best of breed tools and technologies around and has integrated them into the OBIEE platform. Uh, from an integration perspective, uh, the number one key component is providing an integrated analytics foundation, allowing end users to interact with OBIEE and not having to interact with a variety of different tools, also having developers not having to develop uh, many different semantic layers or repositories, uh, kind of having it all in one place, enabling the end user to, to analyze information kind of across multiple tools. The second point here is the integration of Rolap, Molap, and Enterprise Reporting all in one technology. Uh, if you need to access your relational data sources, your multidimensional data sources, or develop nice pixel-perfect reports, you can ultimately do that all now within the OBIEE technology with some robust features and functionality for each of these various different technologies all within the application. The third point here uh, from an integration perspective is the integration of performance management. Within the new 11G um, environment, you're now able to access, again, those multi-dimensional queues uh, being S-based. So you can look at your forecast and models and deliver that out to the masses. For, with OVIEE, there's also capabilities of integrating with HFM and planning as well. Finally, the OVIEE 11G environment is integrated across Oracle's Fusion Middle Stackware, which is ultimately allowed for new, enhanced, uh, brand new capabilities within the OVIEE technology. From an enhancement perspective, uh, lots of uh, energy and lots of time went in really looking at the interface of OVIEE and getting a good understanding of how do users really interact and how do they want to interact within their analytics environment. And, you know, so they, they kind of redid a lot of the, the look and feel, and we'll be taking a look at that. Um, they also provided some really neat capabilities in regard to interactive visualizations and ultimately making it much, much easier for the end users to do many different permutations of information all in one dashboard. The interface also uh, incorporated uh, a web interface to build out those enterprise reports. Uh, there's a whole brand new component of OBIEE called Oracle Scorecard and Strategy Management. Uh, there's also enhanced capabilities around search uh, and the inclusion of being able to collaborate within your business intelligence and analytics framework. Uh, much, much easier to provide actionable business intelligence across the organization and also the inclusion of geospatial intelligence. We'll be taking a look at some of these new features and functionality today. From a scalable perspective, uh, Oracle has done a really great job in integrating this technology with Enterprise Manager, again, part of that Oracle Fusion Middleware stack, allowing customers the capability to utilize Enterprise Managers to manage their whole IT environment, making it much easier for um, patches to be put on the software as well as to kind of manage the clusters and, and manage bringing on and, and removing various different environments. Also from a scalability perspective, it is closely integrated now with identity management, allowing for one single place to store uh, security, enabling across the Oracle Fusion Middleware stack as well as Oracle's applications and technology platform. And finally, lots of work went in to ensure that all of these new features and functionality are performance ready for the end users, ensuring that ultimately we can meet the business requirements needs. On that note, we're going to quickly hop into OBIEE, and I'll provide a high-level demonstration of the new look and feel of the technology. So to start off with, I am currently in Oracle Business Intelligence homepage. And so you can see right off the start, this certainly doesn't look like the OBIEE 10G application that many of us know today. Uh, as mentioned earlier, Oracle did a lot of work in regards to trying to understand 
what are customers using, and how are they interacting with the technology, and ultimately, how do they want to interact with the technology. So Oracle kind of moved from a tool framework, so in today's technology, we maybe go to answers to develop some reports or analysis, or we go to delivers to do some actions or, or you know, email broadcast out some information. And so they really got rid of those technology or those tool um, frameworks inside the application and made it more task oriented. And so kind of looking here on the left, I can see I can easily create analysis and in interactive reporting. Or I can create a published report or actionable intelligence. So, you know, we're not looking more at a tool, we're looking more at what we actually want to do inside the tool. One of the key things with how they kind of changed this uh, way of interacting with the technology as Oracle continues to potentially acquire, you know, additional technologies or build out, right, and, and incorporate additional products into this technology, it'll be much more easy to kind of go with this task-oriented approach versus labeling the tools and technology that are ultimately uh, inside the framework. Also on your home dashboard, you're going to see your recent dashboards. You're going to see some of the other things that you may be doing, as well as there's the capability of looking at the most popular reports inside your organization that ultimately you have access to.